floating handle, what does it do? When you hit something on the water, you hit a freaking a log, you hit a rock, you hit a car, you hit something that it's under the water. The, the, the prop is gonna obviously fly out of the water and the handles, if you have it pretty tight, it's going to just wank and rip out of your hand or you might end up flying and swimming in cold, muddy water. So, this thing, it's supposed to go like this, up and down, okay? Um, it, no, it is not loose, no, it's not breaking, it is not going to break, that's the way it was meant to be. How are you gonna do that? Well, if you notice, if you see down here, there is three bolts. Ah, you got the pivot one, and then you have the two on the sides that are to be adjustable. Um, one, two, and three. Now, what happens sometimes with the dealers, they just put the handle on and then just tighten it pretty hard either with the impact or ratchet, whatever. But it's not supposed to mean to do that. Now, let's say I'm gonna put this thing right here, I'm gonna lower it down to about where it would be running if we were going on plane, right? So let's say that you are going just like that and you hit a log. There is two parts where the motor is going to swivel. And that, um, Keith, you wanna grab the handle? Or you wanna be the log? What do you wanna do? I'll do that. So, two parts. The swivel is a two-piece swivel, so what's gonna happen is, it's going to, first it's gonna kick the motor up, but you obviously, you're holding onto the handle, so it's gonna kick the motor up, and then it's gonna float the handle, so you got about all this travel before it comes out of your hand. Now, if you, if even you run out of travel and it comes out of your hand, I think you got bigger problems than anything else. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, if you have a 7,000, a 6,000, or a 55. 55 Black Death, it should have come with those two space with those two spacers on the handle that will limit the travel. Instead of having what foot and a half, you got maybe this much. So it would literally just hit the the spacer before it hit the the air cleaner. Now, if you don't have that spacer, what you can do the other option is to go uh, on a with a shorter air cleaner and that will not hit the handle. Okay, so this, they are three, uh, you, you will need two wrenches. Uh, they are three eighths bolts and nuts in the back. They have um, nylocks, so nylon, they will not come loose by themselves. Um, like I said, you have, you will, I don't have a wrench, I should have brought my wrenches. But uh, you just stick a wrench right here on the back and then loosen it. What you can do is just, um, make the middle one, make it not so tight that you cannot move it, but maybe just a little bit and then back it up, maybe a quarter of a turn. The ones on the side, do the same and then test it. See how you like it. Now, when does it become unsafe? Well, I think when you have the, the nuts to the point, so loose to the point that they start coming out by themselves, then that's unsafe. But as long as this plate does not move all over the place and it makes it not, um, that you can't really hold on to it or you have it on travel lock position and it's jumping and vibrating and, and, uh, and just flopping all over the place, that's also not safe. One, because it might break one of the bolts and uh, obviously you have three, but then you're gonna be stranded in the water with a broken bolt and the handle flopping all over the place, but also, it's gonna affect the wiring. Um, you don't want any wires flopping all over the place and, and, and breaking and bending and all that stuff. Um, back here, you can see you have the, the rubber uh, bushing protecting these wires. And I'm gonna move it right here. You see how you can barely, I, I would say on this to my personal preference, on this motor right here, I think it's a little too loose for me. You know, uh, you can still see how it moves. So I, I would tighten it a little more. I would tighten it maybe half a turn at a time. Um, then after that, you tension it. I can do it from back here, from on, um, outside the boat, but preferably, is that how you say it? 
<laughs> um, get in the boat, get a, get a hold of the handle and then move it up and down. Like I said, it doesn't really have to be super tight and it doesn't have to be flopping all over the place. And if really, realistically, if you hit something with a drive, it's going to move no matter what. What you don't want is that thing just janking out of your hand and you losing control of the thing.